Hello everybody and welcome back to another round of the Skittles Cup Series. This time round 16 at Homestead, Miami. On your pull today, driving the number 43 Shell V Power Dodge for Fitzwater Australia Racing, we have Zach Stern. And starting next to him is his owner driver, driving the number 59 Wilson Security Dodge, Zachary Fitzwater. You can also see Thomas Saldivia back there. Driving that number 29 John Deere Dodge, also for Fitzwater Australia Racing. They swept the top three today. Here's the rest of your starting lineup. We'll get back to you with the green flag action. And as the pace car pulls off into pit lane, Zach Stern will lead the field to green for the first time in his Skittles Cup Series career as this was his first pull. Here we go, green flag racing for the first time at Homestead, Miami. <clears throat> Are the Fitzwater Estate Racing cars gonna have a good start to the race? It does look like they will. Zach Stern looks like he's holding the inside line pretty good there, although Thomas Saldivia looks like he's getting ready to edge to pass. Zach, uh, Jack Halleck, with the help of his teammate uh, Jared Gotastic, looks like they're going to go to the inside. Zach Stern, he holds them off well, though, and it looks like he will lead the first lap of the Homestead Miami. Toyota has been strong all weekend between Blue Flare Motorsports and Titanium Motorsports, so don't be surprised if we see one of them win as Jack Halleck dives down to the inside to take the lead. He's getting ready to try to pull away from the field, and it looks like it will work. Zach Stern's holding steadily in second place, but it looks like Jared Gotastic's gonna try to keep him pushed to the outside as Jared Gotastic dives to the inside. He does not get a move that time by, though. Alexander Novacek, there in fourth. He's looking for his first win of this series. Alexander Novacek is one of the few drivers currently in the top 14 uh, that has yet to win a Skittles Cup Series race in his career. Uh, he's had a great season so far, though, and uh, he won't be coming back full-time to Red Viper Racing next season, but they will be bringing him back part-time. It's a Blue Flare Motorsports 1-2, though, as Jared Gotastic and Jack Halleck are running away with it. Back here, you can see uh, Drake Kalita. He's trying to work his way to the front. Drake Kalita wants win number five of the season. He's got a couple of tough cars to get past, like Kenny Maya, but he's a... Uh, He's off to a great start, and as is Richie Wells and uh, Travis Scott. They are, they are uh, doing pretty steadily up front as well right now. Got the two Sam Rogers Motorsports cars working together here. As it uh, looks like TJ Smith is taking Sam Rogers and Travis Scott three wide. He looks like he makes a bit of contact with Sam Rogers there. He might want to get out of that situation. It does look like he will be uh, getting out of it, though, as he slots himself into the outside lane. Looks like Thomas Saldivia has uh, fallen quite a ways back, as is Zachary Fitzwater. They're going to have to do some work to get their way up. Uh, Matthew Sutton has fallen back as well. Um, Jack Halleck, though, he's, uh, he's doing a great job leading the way so far. Uh, looks like Jared Gotastic did fall back a bit. Uh, Zach Stern, the pole sitter, he's uh, just keeping up with uh, Jack Halleck. Zach Stern needs this win to make his way into the playoffs, as it's unlikely he'll do it on points based off of TJ Smith's consistency. Bradley Bishop Jr. dives to the tries to dive to the inside of uh, Stern, though. And uh, looks like we have Drake Kalita. Drake Kalita's moved his way up into fourth, and it looks like he's going to keep trying to make his way up the field. Uh, Alexander Novacek trying to stay with him. Uh, Kenny Mines going to have to help him catch up, and it looks like Bradley Bishop Jr. will dive to the inside of Zach Stern, and Drake Kalito is actually going to try to make it three wide. Looks like Jack Dwyer is also trying to make his way up, as uh, it looks like he's about to dive to the inside of Titanium uh, Motorsports rider Smith. Uh, 
with the help of Jeffrey Fingai, uh, Jack Dwyer should be able to do it. TJ Smith's having a great showing so far. Up at the front though, it looks like it's just the uh, Jack Halleck and Drake Kalita show. As back there, uh, Alexander Novacek uh, is going for the pass on Bradley Bishop Jr. Drake Kalita looks like he has a really fast car so far. <clears throat> These two, they're helping each other. They're going, they're going pretty far ahead. Now there's, uh, let's see here how this battle goes. As Drake Kalita, he dives to the inside. Will he be able to make the move this time through these corners? It looks like he will be able to. Drake Kalita to the lead here at Homestead, Miami. It looks like Alexander Novacek is getting passed by uh, the Titanium Motorsports boys as they're helping each other get up to the front. And Drake Kalita, he is just gone. Um, they were they, These guys behind them are really going to have to do some work to catch up to them as uh, Kenny Might is now in third place. Jeff Bolton has been last. It's like you guys see these are the guys that are like kind of off the pace. Um, this is a guy that we want to give a little shout out to. Roberto Crown Jr. driving that number 16 Burger King Ford for uh, Jack Roberts. Well, in replace for Jack Roberts. Jack Roberts uh, was in a uh, pretty aggressive wreck back at Dega, and um, he sustained a concussion, and due to the concussion protocol, he has to be sidelined for two weeks. That will be all of his hopes up for making the playoffs, but hopefully he'll be able to recover and have some more strong performances for Flying Aces International. Uh, Roberto Crown Jr. will be racing uh, full-time next season, driving for the new Lewis Auto Sports. But uh, yeah, so he is uh, making his debut in the series right now. Back up at the front though, it looks like uh, Jack Halleck made another move on Drake Kalita to get the pass. And Drake Kalita, once again, he's going to pass uh, Jack Halleck to the lead. Kenny Mite and Jack Dwyer have uh, caught up to them. <clears throat> And it looks like Kenny Myatt's going to get ready to make a pass on Jack ha uh, Alec. Jack Halleck should be able to get the dive on him this time by. Yeah, Jack Halleck will defend that line for a bit. Kenny Myatt's coming on strong, though. And uh, look at TJ Smith. TJ Smith has been the underdog story so far this season. Uh, his car, his, his team has not had a lot of funding. Their equipment isn't that good. But uh, TJ Smith has just so much talent that he's been able to keep this one car and his team afloat. And uh, yeah, it's more than likely, unless a new guy wins, TJ Smith Incorporated will have an entry into the playoffs. What an upset that would be. That will be, because it's most likely going to happen. Back up front, Jack Halleck back to the inside of Drake Kalita. <clears throat> These two just keep dueling it out, and eventually Kenny Mines going to be able to pounce and make a move. It looks like Drake Kalita will be stuck on the... Uh, outside lane and that will be great for guy for a uh, Kenny Myatt and uh, Jack Dwyer and TJ Smith these guys have been trying to catch um, Kalita and Halleck for a while yeah look Halleck might be able to close the door yeah he has just enough momentum to close the door uh, Kenny Myatt's coming on strong though don't count him out of this just yet although it looks like Jack Dwyer, he's about to make a move on Kenny Mai instead of trying to help use Kenny Mai to help himself get to the front. This helps uh, Drake Kalita uh, pull ahead, and yeah, Jack Dwyer to the inside of Kenny Mai. Will he be able to get him? Yeah, it looks like Jack Dwyer is going to be able to get Kenny Mai here. And Drake Kalita back to the inside of uh, Jack Halleck. These two just keep battling up. They're like going for, they're like lap, 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 lap. They're just, every two laps, they're switching it up. What a great race this is turning out to be so far. As uh, will Jack, Dw is Jack Halleck setting up to go for another pass on uh, Drake Kalita? It looks like he will be, yes, to the inside, Jack Halleck once again. 
This time he's got help with from Jack Dwyer to work his way up. Jack Dwyer is now into the mix. What has happened to Kenny Mike? He must have got, yeah, Kenny Mike got stuck in the outside groove. And he's going to have to slot himself down in front of uh, Jared Gotastic, if at all possible. As uh, Jack Dwyer, he forces Jack Halleck up to the top. And Jack Dwyer to the lead here at Homestead of Miami. He is now your new leader and the fourth different driver to lead a lap. Drake Kalito's back down to the inside of Jack Halleck, fighting for second now, because they can't be fighting for first. And now Drake Kalito's going to be on the tail of Jack, Hall Jack Dwyer. Man, it's so confusing having two Jacks up front. Is This might not be good for uh, Jack Halleck. Look, he's stuck on the outside lane as the freight train of Ryder Smith, Sam Rogers, and TJ Smith are all coming up to the front now. Looks like Jack Halleck's going to get slotted back a lot. Kenny Wyatt's worked his way back down to the inside as he's going for the pass on Bradley Bishop Jr. Drake Kalita, he's trying to get his nose down and under. Jack Halleck's doing a great job def defending that line, though. See what else is happening throughout the field. Zachary Fitzwater, he's worked his way back up to the front after falling back early. Zach Stern's holding himself uh, pretty well there uh, after leading a few laps. Roberto Crown Jr., he is working his way through the field very impressively. Cal Collins has worked his way back up to the front. A lot of these guys have fell back early. Uh, Thomas Saldivi has not been ever to, able to recover yet. Isaac Montgomery, he's making another part-time start here for Lowe's Autosports part-time championship. <clears throat> and then the last place guy still very off pace in that num unsponsored number uh, 09 Toyota for Black Ice Enterprises is Jeff Bolton Jeff Bolton has not had the luck just because of the equipment not because of the talent he will be making his uh, first full time season next season uh, driving for Jeremy Johnson Racing so he's just going to keep using this season to gain experience on the tracks. Back up at front, though, we caught just in time as Sam Rogers is helping Jack Dwyer back to the lead after Drake Kalita passed him. Um, Looks like uh, TJ Smith, uh, he's stuck with them. He is sticking with this crowd. Look at him go. And are they? It looks like um they're trying to pull away from these guys, uh, the three Toyotas. Uh, Ryder Smith's trying to keep up with them, though. You know Ryder Smith's going to be hungry for this win. Um, he's going to need all the help he can in the world, though, from his teammate, Kenny Maya. The Titanium Motorsports boys have had an outstanding uh, outstanding season so far. Uh, easily two of the champion favorite, championship favorites. And looks like uh, TJ Smith, with a very aggressive move, takes Drake Kalita and, Sam, and Jack Dwyer three wide as Sam Rogers will take the lead. This is just what Ryder Smith wants to see, as Ryder Smith will be able to make the move on Drake Kalita now. Keep it going three wide, as it uh, looks like green flag pit stops are going to start. As uh, Dr Drake Kalita is going to need a pit stop, and he's, as he's made contact with Jack Dwyer and TJ Smith so far. As they're going single file, Sam Rogers will take that lap. <clears throat> Jack Dwyer down to the inside of TJ Smith now. It looks like uh, Jeff Bolton coming out of the pits. Uh, will he cause any problems with the uh, much faster cars? Oh man, that was almost an issue. Oh wow, that almost ended very poorly for Matthew Sutton going into the pits there. We will take a quick break, and uh, we'll get back to you after all these green flag pit stops are done, just to save everyone the confusion. And after all those green flag pit stop complications, TJ Smith comes out to be your leader. Um, they ran uh, two or three laps before I came back and started commentating, and TJ Smith had up to a four-second lead on the 
uh, second place. I don't know what kind of pit strategy these guys were using, but it worked out in their favor. In second place, she got Jack Dwyer. Third, Drake Kalita. Fourth, Ryder Smith. Fifth, Sam Rogers. Sixth, Kenny Myatt. Seventh is Zach Stern. Eighth is Richie Wells. Ninth is Alexander Novacek. And tenth is Bradley Bishop Jr. And a look at that. In 11th place, in his first start, Roberto Crown Jr. What a run this guy is having flying for Flying Aces International. Although he did just hit the wall there. Hope that's not going to pose any issues to them. <clears throat> but up at front, though, um... TJ Smith doing an outstanding job, although we're witnessing Drake Kalita to go to the inside of Jack Dwyer now. Uh, and he's getting ready to pounce. Drake Kalita had an insane, has had an insane car all race so far. And um, would not be surprised to see him get win number five here. Looks like he's getting a bit ed bit edgy on um, TJ Smith. He's getting ready to put his nose down below and take the lead from him. TJ Smith, I think this is the most laps he's led all season so far. And his lead's about to be stripped away from him by Drake Kalita. As Drake Kalita will successfully make that pass and get the lead. Jack Dwyer, though, right on his tail. The big two of this race, Drake Kalita and Jack Dwyer, have been doing outstanding. Little wall contact back there. Yep, TJ Smith uh, tapped the wall there. Hopefully that's not gonna pose any issues for him at all, for him as well. <clears throat> uh, because of that though, uh, Sam Rogers was able to uh, make the move and he has now gone down low on TJ Smith for third place. Ryder Smith keeping up with these four guys and uh, Kenny Might is right behind Ryder Smith. So don't count the Toyotas out of it yet. Then you got this other pack of drivers because uh, they're the ones that couldn't keep up. So Alexander Novacek, Jack Halleck, uh, Roberto Crown Jr., Kyle Collins, Bradley Bishop Jr., Zach Stern, and Richie Wells. But the front though, Drake Kalito's the car to beat as they are coming up on lap traffic. Um, Ryan Reed, once they pass him, he'll be the second lap driver as uh, Jeff Bolton was lapped forever ago. It looks like um, they're going to go three wide for the pass. Um, I, I don't know why Jack Dwyer went about going it that way as that allows uh, Sam Rogers to gain some ground on him. Sam Rogers might be able to get his nose down low now and make the pass. Looks like Jack Dwyer, he's making it, he's going down low to make the pass on Drake Kalita. Will he be able to do it successfully? He will be able to. Jack Dwyer to the lead once again. Looks like TJ Smith is holding his own in uh, fourth place here. Uh, Ryder Smith, he's looking, he's getting a bit aggressive now. He might be able to get his nose down low with the help of his teammate, Kenny Myatt. As uh, looks like uh, Ryan Reed is just very slow right now in that. Um, Rogers Racing car next season he will be leaving Rogers Racing uh, they did not offer him a contract to return Ryan Reed will be replacing Zach Stern over at Fitzwater Australia Racing speaking of Zach Stern here comes his pack of cars Jack Hallett, Kyle Collins, Roberto Crown Jr. and Zach Stern and uh, looks like uh, Drake Kalita made a bit of contact with the wall and uh that allowed TJ Smith to gain some time on him, so now this pack of cars is getting ready to make their move on Drake Kalita as the two Sam Rogers Motorsports cars, they are pulling away. Sam Rogers, he goes down to the inside, and he'll be ready to make his move on Jack Dwyer this time by. Look at him go.
Look at them go. And now there's a battle back there as Drake Khalid is looking to get his position back. He's trying to get back up to the lead. And Drake Khalid, he's already made it back on the bumper of... Um, Sam Rogers, TJ Smith, he's back up on the mix now. Ryder Smith is there too. The two Smiths can't count them out as Drake Kalita goes down low on Sam Rogers and he will take back the lead. Looks like Ryan Reed is really just being a pain in the butt to these guys. He is not moving up out of the way and they're just losing a lot of time on that main pack. I mean, props to Ryan Reed for being so good at blocking. And Ryan Reed, he will go down to pit lane now. This might be the second round of green flag pit stops here. What laps are we on? This is 36 of 54. Yeah, look, between Kenny Myatt and Jack Howick is like a lot of time, like five, six seconds. There's no way that those guys, it's really just going to be one of these six people winning the race, most likely. As um, TJ Smith, he is back to the lead. Any of them going to pit this time by? Keep in mind, TJ Smith and Drake Kalita both made contact with the wall, so that could have worn out the tires. They might need to pit early. Drake Kalita, he tapped TJ Smith out of the way. Look at that aggressive move by him, and he is back to the lead. Just at the same time, Jack Dwyer goes low on Ryder Smith. Drake Kalita to the lead once more, and Jack Dwyer is not going to let him keep that for very long. Look at those Sam Rogers Motorsports cars have been so quick. I just love how Kenny Mind, he's, he hasn't been like in the mix, but he's been there. Like, he is right behind them waiting for them to make a mistake. Ryder Smith and TJ Smith are going to have to jump down to the inside now in a second. We know what happens here. Jack Dwyer is going to make a move on Drake Kalita for the lead. The amount of lead changes this race has had has been insane so far. As it looks like they're coming up on more lap traffic. <clears throat> uh, Christian Vargas, Justin Garza, and Hiroshi Kazumi. Uh, looks like uh, Vargas is going into pit lane. Any of these uh, front pack people coming to pit lane? Looks like Ryder Smith will. Ryder Smith is trying a different pit strategy than the rest of them as Drake Kalita is going to the lead here at Homestead. Yep, looks like the pit strategies are starting again. We will get back to you as soon as all this pitting is done. And with that, green flag pit stops are over. Um, going to your lead, we have TJ Smith. Look at him go. Uh, these lap cars, they are racing the lead lap cars. Like, they are in this lead pack. It's crazy. Um, one note to mention, uh, Jack Dwyer, he did not have a very good pit stop. So he has fallen off the pace of the other guys. And he's going to try his best to catch up, though. He, With the car he's had, he'll probably be able to do it. But yeah, up in your lead is TJ Smith and Sam Rogers right now. They are pulling away from Drake Kalita, Kenny Myatt, and Ryder Smith because of these lap cars. There is uh, about 10 laps to go this time by. TJ Smith, he is racing them like he has the same equipment as them. And, like, it's just crazy to me how good TJ Smith has been this season. And how he's up in this lead pack. As, like, Sam Rogers didn't even able to make a move on him. Um, Drake Kalita, he is uh, working his way up now. He's gone past all the lap, uh, lap cars, and he is trying to get to the front now. And Ryder Smith is following suit. 
Kenny Maya, eh, not really. Kenny Maya's just kind of there. And Jack Dwyer is pushing this car to its limits right now, trying to get it back up to this main group. You know he's going to be uh, not too pleased with his uh, team for that poor uh, pit stop there. Sam Rogers, he is on that bumper, and you know he's soon going to get ready to make that move on TJ Smith. He gave TJ Smith a little tap there. TJ Smith is keeping it uh, all together, though. Well, Sam Rogers, Sam Rogers down to the inside now. And he will get the position from TJ Smith. Sam Rogers to the lead once more. He is going for win number three. And look, he is pulling away from TJ Smith and Drake Kalita now. Here comes the Titanium Motorsports boys. They gotta work together to catch up to this main pack. And Jack Dwyer, he is gaining ground and he is gaining ground quickly. You can already see the lap, lap traffic in his frames. But I don't think it'll be enough at all. I think we can officially count Jack Dwyer out of this chance of winning. Drake Kalita, he makes his move on TJ Smith, and now he's got a gain on Sam Rogers. Sam Rogers had an amazing race. Sam Rogers Motorsports, both cars have had an amazing race. Sam Rogers just got to keep it together for a few more laps, though. As this time by, they're going to hit four to go. Drake Kalita down to the inside. Sam Rogers not going to let it happen. He shuts the door on Drake Kalita. Drake Kalita might have to move him to get to this number one position. Four to go this time by. Drake Kalita down to the inside. He will make a move on Sam Rogers for the lead. TJ Smith right on Drake Kalita's bumper. TJ Smith might get the win. What an upset that would be. TJ Smith, he's going to get the position on Sam Rogers. No, he won't. Sam Rogers is going to shut the door in front of TJ Smith. Man, I am bad at guessing things. Ben Allen, will Ben Allen be a factor in this race? Will Ryder Smith be able to catch it? it looks like Ryder Smith and Kenny Myatt, they are mathematically eliminated from this race. There's really no chance they're gonna be able to catch up and make it past all three of these guys. Sam Rogers down to the inside. Sam Rogers is gonna get hold up, held up by Ben Allen. Is he gonna have to push Ben Allen out of the way? Ben Allen, it's gonna hold up Drake Kalita. TJ Smith is looking to make go in the middle. It is three wide for the lead here at Homestead, Miami. Ben Allen is holding up Drake Kalita. Drake Kalita picked the wrong, wrong line. Man, what an ending to this race. TJ Smith, he is looking on the inside of Sam Rogers. Sam Rogers shuts the door. The underdog, the first winner of the series, going at it. Don't count Drake Kalita out just yet. Drake Kalita has such a fast car. Looks like Titania Motorsports boys are fall are uh, are battling it out for this fourth position. T.J. Smith to the inside. T.J. Smith to the lead. Is Sam Rogers gonna have anything to give him? As they are coming down the back stretch, getting ready to go, one to go. Sam Rogers down to the inside. He makes the peak. He's not going to get it this time by. He is right on the bumper of TJ Smith. TJ Smith will take the white flag here at Homestead, Miami. Sam Rogers to the inside of TJ Smith. 
they're running up on Travis Scott. Sam Rogers to the lead. Will TJ Smith have anything to give him through thir turns three and four? Dre Kalita, are they gonna go three wide? Travis Scott to pit lane. It's gonna be a drag race to the Willie to the finish line. It looks like TJ Smith is gonna close it out. TJ Smith, underdog moment of the year. Sam Rogers hits the wall and TJ Smith will win Homestead Miami and lock himself into the playoffs. What a battle for the end. Fourth place, Kenny Myatt. Fifth place, Ryder Smith. Sixth place, Jack ha Dwyer. Seventh place, Jack ha Halleck. Ninth place, Kyle Collins. Then you got Alexander Novacek. Great day by Roberto Crown Jr. Zach Stern, his playoff hopes are basically over now with TJ Smith winning this race. Wow, what a race for TJ Smith and TJ Smith Incorporated. Here are your finishing results. Looks like Travis Scott ended up retiring. I don't know how he ended up in 36. He had a pretty good run going. He must have had issues on that last lap or so. Thank you for tuning in to this round of the Skittles Cup Series. Uh, we will get back to you next round. I hope you tune in.